Mayor Hoge. Thank you, um, Madam Chair. High Representative, the uh, EU-China summit uh, last week reminded me of the 2020 uh, summit because Merkel and Macron thought that they could sign a quick investment agreement. That summit was a symbol of the ambivalent position of the European Union when faced with China. Nice words on human rights, but at the end of the day, it's the wallet that counts. Last week, the uh, tone was quite different, but again, I kept to see some ambivalence. Yes, you did speak about the Ukraine, and quite rightly so, but at the same time, you decided to set up a working group for the strengthening of trade relations and for the recognition of the geographical uh, indications and denominations. Well, I truly don't understand that because I do not see that we're going to see a real establishment of democracy in Hong Kong, the freedom of religion for Christians in China, or the freedom of a million Uyghurs that are in concentration camps. China has sanctions against European members of parliament. So if China continues to trample on human rights, we cannot possibly talk about strengthened economic relations. I think we ought to be very clear on this. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Pineda has the floor for one minute from the left.